Welcome back to Fix It Friday. In last week's episode, we talked about the Logic Pulser, and in the episode before that, we talked about using the Logic Probe. And uh, today, we're going to talk about the Logic Clip. Now, the Logic Clip is pretty cool. It is like having a uh, it's like having 16 Logic Probes in one. Um, if we flip it over, you can see that there is uh, there's a bunch of little LEDs that will show you the status of uh, all the pins. So let me get this attached and I'll show you how it's useful. Now the logic clip is really easy to use. Uh, you make note of that little dot right there and you line it up with pin one on your chip and uh, and all you gotta do is clip it on there. It figures out the power itself. Um, so you can immediately see how um, just how useful this logic clip is and if we apply a little bit of a signal it starts telling us what all the pins are doing at one time. Now, one of the problems you run into with this logic clip is I'm running this at one one thousandth of the speed uh, <laughs> that this board runs. Um, and if I go ahead and disconnect the clock here, you'll see that you almost can't tell that these uh, lights are turning on. So one of the one of the most important things to do is disable your clock and use your logic pulser to send pulses through the circuit. And allow you to understand what's going on uh, through this logic clip. But the logic clip is extremely helpful, and I'll show you how to uh, how to disable the uh, the clock real quickly. Now, every clock circuit begins with a crystal, and uh, the, our crystal is here, and you can find the crystal easily on the board, and I'll show you how in a minute. Um, but there are several safe places to ground this signal if we want to if we want to tie pin 2 of this IC to ground or if we want to uh, tie this portion of the crystal to ground or pin 1 to ground um, those are all safe or even pin 3 of this LS04 all of those are safe places to ground the clock signal that goes out to the entire rest of the motherboard alright so we found our crystal here on the board it's, it'll be the only thing that looks like a flat can and you can see that uh, when you ground one edge of it, it cannot oscillate. Now this is the first edge of the buffer, and you can see that it does not light up. It is locked high here and locked low there. So we have disabled the clock throughout the entire system. And if we want to take our logic pulser to uh, trigger the, uh, the logic clip, we can just connect to the buffer pin here and send the signal throughout the whole board. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. The Logic Clip is an extremely useful tool for troubleshooting circuits, and it makes a lot of this stuff really quick, as you can just uh, run around the board and see what's buzzing and what's not. And um, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, come back and see us next week. Thanks for watching.